At a news conference to announce the changes, Fabian Picardo disclosed that he would have wanted to start with this new distribution of ministries when the GSOP Liberals were elected for a second term last November. However, with the EU referendum looming, he thought it prudent to keep the status quo for a little longer. The time had now come, he said, to reshuffle, to refresh and to reboot. One important innovation is as a direct consequence of the referendum and has been introduced reluctantly. Well, it's with a heavy heart that Joseph Garcia and I agreed that we had to create a ministry uh, for Brexit. You know that he and I believe passionately, always have, that the European Union is a project worth believing in and worth defending. We did that in all of our political careers and also during the course of the referendum campaign. He and I work hand in glove together on all issues, and I thought it was important that he should become the, repos the repository of the responsibility for the department for exiting the European Union in Gibraltar, although we do not not give up on having a very uh, close participation with the European Union in the future and having an associate style status if uh, possible, which means that we will continue to have a relationship with the European Union going forward. A major ministerial change involves Dr. John Cortes. He retains the environment and gains education and heritage, but relinquishes health, the highest spending government department. Is that why he's moving? Has he been spending too much there? Well, Stephen, look, I think it, it is c the completely wrong way of focusing it for this reason. I am relinquishing responsibility as well for broadcasting and for the media and for uh, drugs, etc. So, look, am I demoting myself? That, that is, with respect, not a way that I think uh, you can seriously do the work of analysing what this reshuffle means. John Cortes has been a magnificent Minister for Health, probably the best Minister for Health Gibraltar has ever had since Aurelio Montevifo. He has done a job of transforming the health services, of repatriating services to Gibraltar so that people who have the need for care are going to have their care given to them as patients in Gibraltar instead of having to go out of Gibraltar. He has really recast the way that health is done. He's finished many projects. He has some on the go at the moment too. But to go from the highest spending ministry in Gibraltar to the second highest spending ministry in Gibraltar doesn't mean you're being demoted. The chief minister described the creation of a new ministry of health and care as the most revolutionary aspect of the reshuffle. It will be led by Neil Costa, who also inherits justice from Gilbert Likudi. Mr Likudi himself takes over from Mr Costa at employment and is also appointed Minister for Tourism and the Port. Albert Isola keeps financial services and is also put in charge of a new Ministry for Commerce. Another significant change involves Samantha Sacramento, who has been given responsibility for affordable housing within the Housing Ministry, but has been relieved of two of her four portfolios. You mentioned Samantha Sacramento. Would she be entitled to feel that you've demoted her in this reshuffle? Because although you, you've emphasised the, the, the affordable housing that she's taking responsibility for, but you've actually stripped her of two of her ministries, social services and tourism. Well, look, I, I don't think it's fair to describe the work that I have done in that way because I've said to you from the beginning today that I have a government of huge talents. No minister has let me down. I therefore have no reason to demote any minister. I have a very good reason to thank ministers for the work that they've done today and to promote them further. But look, there are, there are some instances where I'd be promoting people into my job if I, if I was promoting them. Um, so what I've done with, with Samantha cannot be described by any stretch of the imagination as a demotion. It's quite the opposite. Remember, I'm telling you that she is going to do something that no minister has done before. She is going to take my responsibility, and I don't consider any of my responsibilities to be minor, which is the development of the projects, the hugely important projects, which are the 2,000 affordable homes that we're going to build, into the housing ministry because I think she has the capacity and the ability to do it. Paul Balvan will still be responsible for implementing the government's traffic and transport plan, regarding which the Chief Minister said he was confident of being able to make major announcements soon. Mr Balban also heads a new department for infrastructure and planning. Stephen Linares is no longer in charge of heritage, but he retains culture, sports and leisure and youth and has been asked to take over responsibility for broadcasting and media from the Chief Minister. The last, but as Mr Picardo said, most certainly not the least important change concerned the founder of the GSLP, Joe Bosano. In addition to his existing responsibilities, 
Mr. Bossano has been asked to head a new ministry for public sector efficiency. Was this an admission that there's been too much spending in the public sector? I asked Mr. Picardo. No, not at all. It's that we want to be able to do more. And so, look, we have a manifesto commitment to honour the manning levels of the civil service, and we're not going to change that at all. But it is true that there are things that are changing. So technology changes, and we're able to do more things using computers, and we're able to do more things using e-government. Uh, so as we do that, it may be that in some departments you need less people. But at the same time, in other departments, things are becoming more labour-intensive, and you need more people in those new departments. And we need to recast the way that we're doing things. This is work that I started with the GGCA after the 9th of December last year, uh, uh, sorry, 2011 when we were first elected. It's not been possible to finalize how we do that. I think it's important in the context of uh, the post-Brexit world that we are as efficient as we can be in the way that we deliver for commerce. Commerce needs to be able to interact efficiently with the public sector. That's my job as a public servant, as a chief minister, to deliver the best I can for those who vote for me. And everybody who works under me in the public sector needs to deliver in the best possible way. The chief minister described his as a government of huge Gibraltarian talent. We may not do everything right, he said, but we try to do as much as we can, as well as we can. And with this reshuffle, we can go further in doing so.